What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. I'm currently printing some price tags here because I just entered some stuff into the system. I got here early today, got here at about 10.30. Normally, we don't get here till about 11.30, but I woke up early and I wanted to get some stuff done. So I brought in some stuff from my personal collection, some action figures, and I got in some other random other stuff. Everything I entered is new. Um, I didn't do any pre-owned items, so let me show you guys those real quick. All right, so I have some Street Fighter figures here. Pretty awesome. This one is marked as uh, good condition. Packaging is just like a little bit worn. This one's marked as poor because as you can probably tell, the plastic is yellowed. This one is pretty good. This one is marked as poor because it's kind of separating from the back here. It's never been opened, but you can see it's kind of coming apart a little bit. Uh, sensor bar, Streets of Rage soundtrack, another Yu-Gi-Oh um, structure deck, sealed navigation controller, uh, switch accessory, the 3D Mario 3D, 3D coins. We have a factory sealed uh, official GameCube memory card. The packaging is pretty messed up as you can see. Uh, so it is marked as poor, but it is still a brand new memory card and I did mark it down. I think I put this one at 50 and they normally sell for about 60, 70. And then we have two more action figures. We have this Halo 2 Master Chief with tactical shotgun and Magnum. And then we also have the Gears of War 2 Marcus Phoenix versus Locust Drone. A little dusty, but still pretty cool. So that stuff's all on the website now. And uh, yeah. All right, guys, we need to take a little bit of a break to thank our sponsor for today's video which is Double Jump Video Games. Yeah, we can sponsor our own video, who cares? We just got the new DJ Nintendo 64 port covers. If you want one of these, they're available on our website, top link in the description down below. They're only five bucks. While you're checking that out, you will notice we have some t-shirts, we have pins, beanies, patches, all sorts of stuff. I will let you guys know, the DJ enamel pins, there's like four left. <laughs> We have plenty of the Sit Cooper ones. I'm not ever going to be reordering any of the Sit Cooper merch <clears throat> at this point. It just never sells, which I expected. Uh, but the DJ enamel pins are almost gone. We will be doing a reorder of them. However, we're going to change it. So um, it's going to be slightly different from the first pin that we did. So uh, for anyone who got one of the original ones, the next one is going to be different. And uh, so yeah, if you want one of the original ones, you better get it now because there's only a couple left. What up peeps? We got David here. We're gonna open up another VHS box. I took all the pack out of the top, so it'll be quick. Let's Jump go. into it. Whoa, I'm knocking over I'm the grabbing, camera. I'm grabbing, what do we got? Poor white trash too. <laughs> got a big box. That is awesome. <laughs> Little sun faded on the front. That's all right. I don't watch the box, so we're good. Bride of Cinema Wasteland, more horror movie trailers from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Oh, uh, it's one of those trailer tapes. Those are kind of cool, though. <laughs> I guess these are together. Rod Serling's Night Gallery. There's a lot of those. In <laughs> here's... Oh, there's the rest of them, yeah. Here's a bunch more. <laughs> I don't think it's all of them. Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know how many came in that set. Here's two, three, four, six, seven, eight, and ten. There might be more in here. Though. All right, I'm not looking. What am I grabbing? What? Wonderbug, Volume One: The World of what's it say? Sid and Mary Croft. <laughs> oh, that looks ridiculous. Awesome. Hey, Cold track, the those, Night yeah. Stalker Collector's Edition. That's a cool show. You have some of those already over there. Do we? Yeah. So you might have more of the collection. Good. Dark Shadows. There's a lot of those as well. Good old <laughs> British horror. A, you want to grab all of them? I see <laughs> yeah. a few. There's, there's quite a few. <laughs> there's a lot of them. Bunch of different volumes. I don't know where you want to put should we sell these, like, should I just put these on eBay as, like, a bundle? Yes. Because <laughs> individually, those take forever to sell. 
Yeah. I tried to watch one of them. They're just, it's not my thing. It's kind of boring. Oh, uh, here's another one. Dark Shadows. <laughs> Got a different tape. Howard Hawks Land of the Pharaohs. Rare. Uh, I don't know this one. <laughs> Kyle. What? We're looking at VHS. We are. Oh, I know. We, we've had this one quite a few times. Batman. No, 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 no. <laughs> the theme song's in my head now. Bram Stroker's Burial of the Rats. Did you say Stroker's? I did. HR <laughs> puffing stuff. Oh, man. I know some people <laughs> who like to get high and watch that. I'm just saying. Killer Workout. That one's mine. <laughs> what about The Swarm? Got it. It's got the plastic on it, though. Sigmund and the Sea Monsters. It's another one of those. Yeah, this is some weird crap. Did you watch The World those? of Sid and Marty Croft. Yep. I feel like I have seen some HR Puffin stuff. I got like a bootleg tape. Kid. I got a bootleg tape with some of that on there. A bunch of 60s stuff. That would be weird. Truck Stop Women. <laughs> oh, my brother was a trucker. <laughs> Lot Lizards, they call them. <laughs> Kitten with a whip. All right. Before Indiana Jones. Spirits. I think I may have that one. Have a look. Attack of the 50 foot woman. Earthquake. Yeah, the TV movie. <laughs> dark Shadows. Goes in the Dark Shadows file. Another one. Well, we could put these four in there as well. Man, you got a lot of those. <laughs> More, the world is sitting at yeah, Lidsville. More of the crazy stuff. <laughs> another one. <laughs> Wait, is this a duplicate? It is. It's another Something. one of the sea monster ones. Now we can each have one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want one. Heavy traffic. Oh yeah, this is one of those uh, R-rated cartoons. <laughs> Wimps. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> what is that? Nerds get revenge, but wimps get the girls. I don't know if that's true. That's what it says. <laughs> Humongous. <laughs> There's two. Two left. Electra Woman and the and Dina Girl, Volume One. <laughs> what is that? It's a TV show. Superman. And go with the Batman superpowers. Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. Now you yep. empty box. That's all of them. So, um, what is one you wanted? <laughs> no, there's a, there's a few I want. Okay, okay, good. So, <laughs> uh, we still have VHS from the last box. I haven't put it into the inventory yet, but maybe we'll get that done today. You should probably get them sold. I'll try. <laughs> Let's look at some trades, guys. Let's start over here. I'll move these over there, out of the way. We have Puzzler Collection Complete. These are pretty good condition, too. Brain Boost Beta Wave. <laughs> Flash Focus. And then for PS2, we have Medal of Honor Frontline Greatest Hits. Battle, or Battlefield 2 Modern Combat for PS2. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. SOCOM US Navy SEALs. Dead Space 3 Limited Edition. LA Noir. Medal of Honor Frontline Black Label. Uncharted Drake's Fortune. And Cooking Mama Cook Off. And then we got a really nice uh, PS4 collection shaded in. I'll start over here on the right, I guess. We have Final Fantasy, or Dissidia, Final Fantasy NT. Not the greatest game because of all the microtransactions, but if you like fighting games, you can try it out. Then we have Trails of Cold Steel 4 Frontline Edition. This is the only edition that came out on the PS4. Um, so it's not like anything special. It's just called Frontline Edition, just in case you guys are wondering. And... We also got Trails of Cold Steel 1. Oops. Oh my god. Um, don't worry about that. 1, 2, and 3. So we did get all 4, but 1, 2, and 3 are all disc only, unfortunately. We have Dragon Quest Heroes Day 1 Edition. Gravity Rush 2. Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition. Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut for the PS4. Dot hack GU last recode, Death Stranding, 
uh, Warriors All-Stars, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. So I guess it's Infinite Warfare Legacy Edition. Then we have Dragon Quest Builders 2, The Walking Dead, the Telltale series, or Def Telltale Devin Definitive series. Dang, I can't talk. <laughs> uh, Metal Max Xeno. Not sure what that is. Looks kind of cool. Uh, Marvel Spider-Man. Marvel Avengers. And then we come over here. We have the Quantum Dream Collection, which has three games. Uh, Detroit Become Human, Heavy Rain, and Beyond Two Souls. We have Yonder, The Cloudcatcher Chronicles. Borderlands 3 Deluxe Edition. Uncharted, The Nation Nathan Drake Collection. Caladrius Blaze, Days Gone. Mass Effect Andromeda Deluxe Edition. Gundam Breaker 3. Ooh, that one looks kind of cool. And we have Mass Effect Legendary Edition. If you guys haven't played Mass Effect, definitely recommend it. I, th I already did it for my staff pick, but definitely check it out. We have Digimon World Next Order, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, Tales of Berseria, Uncharted 4 A Thief's End, another copy of Dissidia NT, and Oni Chanbara Z2 Chaos. That's it for now. All right, and did you want to make an account today? Sure. All right, what's your phone number? It's 360. All right. Wait, are you writing this down? Um, You're not going to... What? I just want to, like, go just going to call you later. Are you serious? You cheat you a text message. That's okay. What, are you some kind of pervert or something? You just thought you were really hot. This is not how you do this. Hey, Ariel. Mm -hmm. Can you fix it? Yes, uh, I'll try. Um, is it pronounced wise or ease? Yeah. Ease? Yes. Well, I've never heard it said. Is it in? Nice. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> it's so easy. Yay. Let's check out some awesome trades we got. We got Knights and Bikes from Limited Run Games. Trying for Ultimate Collection with 1, 2, and 3. Then we got Origami Shadow Edition. West of Loathing. Republic Commando, which is sealed. Star Wars Racer. Terraria. Uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes, Dragon Quest Builders 2, Abby is pushing this in my face, uh, third party Sega, is third party? Yeah. Oh, so cool, in the box, third party Sega controller. Uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, Star Wars with uh, Jedi Knight 1 and 2. So this was super stupid because of course limited run is like, oh limited run, you will never print this again, but then they are like the publisher for these games released a double pack with these games at retail not associated with limited run i hate when they do stuff like that i think the same thing happened with star wars racer and republic commando i think they got also got a double pack at retail that's not connected to limited run super stupid but these are the limited run ones undertale stardew valley this is the japanese one before uh it was only in japan with a physical release so uh, that came out way before the US one with Fan Gamer. And then the Messenger, crazy, crazy expensive. It was one of uh, Special Reserve Games' first releases, and this is the reserve version. The game is sealed inside. The first several special editions they did were never sealed on the outer box, just the inside. And uh, we did confirm the seal by um, just pushing it open. You can, you can see the seal in there. Uh, but yeah, super good condition and really, really cool. And real quick, we got Game Genie thing, external hard drive for PS4, a pretty cool Vita a grip, it's pretty, pretty comfortable. The Indigo Blue, it's not really Indigo, but it's a bluish purple switch light. Multi-tap for PS2. Zelda 3D, Ocarina of Time 3D, Super Smash Bros 3D, New Super Mario Bros, Majora's Mask 3D, Grand Theft Auto, Vice City Stories for PSP, Wedding Crashers. <clears throat> Behind Enemy Lines, Tactics Ogre, Monster Hunter Freedom, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, Skylanders Imaginators, Incredibles, Fast and Furious for PS4, Curse of the Moon, 
and Yee's Origin, or Yee's Origins, however you say it. Ahoy! Hey, how's it going, Jiggy? <laughs> I don't, I don't think I can do it. So this game was returned yesterday because someone got to level two and it was freezing, but they're on a retron. Yeah. And retrons do have a tendency to free, like to have issues with some games, but I don't think Ryan can get to level two. I don't know. We'll see. What type of game is it? Just like a just a brawler? Yeah, beat em up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, side school and beat em up. No, is it really hard? Uh, I did die. <laughs> oh my gosh. Slightly Damn, it looks hard. hard. Give me that stick. Oh, no. no. Nice. Yeah. Are the levels, like, long? I guess you don't know because you haven't beat the level. Yeah, I don't know yet. <laughs> we'll find out. And these games are so hard. Yeah, too hard. That's why, like, virtual console is, like, the best way to play it because you can just save states. Right. Even though some people say it's cheating, but... Let us know in the comments. Do you think safe states is cheating? Let us know how you play NES games, because I use safe states. Yeah, I like safe states, yeah. <laughs> Good luck, Ryan. Two hours later. All right, I think he made it to level two. Yeah, because I'm awesome. Yeah, Ryan's the best at testing games. Yeah. He was born for it. Yeah, been playing games since I was like one years old. Nice. <laughs> playing games in the womb. Oops. You distracted me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, no freezing, so... Yay, I did it. What's, what's going on over here? Well, nothing. We were kind of just shooting the breeze, talking. Don't look. No. And Adam came over like, so you've got a job to do. <laughs> So you should probably clean these controllers. What? So Ryan and I are now shooting the breeze while cleaning controllers. Yeah, I think we should fire him. He's making us actually do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. No. But no, this I want to be done already. I want to ask you a dumb question I was asking everybody earlier. Oh no. So imagine all the cereal mascots are in a battle royale. Who wins? Matches to the death. How many cereal mascots are there? Quite a few. Like a billion. billion. Three. Yeah. I think it's clearly going to be Tony the Tiger. Okay, everybody Heck else yeah. is saying Tony the Tiger. I yeah. think you should not underestimate Trix the Rabbit. He's an idiot. <laughs> he's an idiot and he's, he's a, a rabbit. He's a desperate idiot. <laughs> like, tigers eat that for breakfast. For like a little appetizer. I mean, and yeah. then okay, co yeah. Cookie, Cookie Jarvis is insane. <laughs> His name's Cookie Cookies. Jarvis. I think it's the Cookies for Cocoa Puff guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, Tony the Tiger. Yeah. Um, He's like a bodybuilder. <laughs> Captain yeah. Crunch has mm -hmm. a ship that he can just ram into houses. Captain Crunch is an old man. He's frail. Oh, no. Sunny, Sunny the Cuckoo yeah. uh, Sunny the Cuckoo Bird is the Cocoa Puffs mascot. And he's also, like, stir crazy. So, you... again, he's a bird against a tiger. Okay. Eagles? <laughs> Yeah. An eagle against okay. a tiger? Okay. <laughs> Still a tiger. It's a cinnamon yeah, tiger. toast crunch squares because they perform cannibalism. Yeah, they do. Oh, they are cannibals. They are nasty, nasty little. But we also have, like, we have Count Chocula and we have He's Frank a vampire. And Mary. That's true. Yeah. So we have we have a we have a Frankenstein, uh, we have chocolate, we have a zombie Boo on Berry. here. Boo. Boo Berry the ghost. Yeah, I picked Mario from the Mario series. You just possess everybody and like make him make them kill themselves. No, Mario. Not all ghosts possess. He That's... does. I've seen it. Some ghosts just <laughs> molest. Oh, no. Oh, I mean, God. maybe. I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> okay. It's the last of the stuff. We got Snubble. How could Cooper not want this? I thought he liked Pokemon, but apparently not. Me too. Okay, and then we got Cruising USA. Mario Tennis Not for Reseal. We have this Big Bang Mini. Then is it really a Big Bang if it's Big Bang Mini? 
That seems a little bit counterproductive naming. Wii Sports Resort Bundle, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3 Limited Edition, Assassin's Creed 3 GameStop Exclusive, uh, Sniper Elite 3 Ultimate Edition, Legos and Pirates of the Caribbean, Build and Race, Ant Bully, Avatar The Last Airbender, Among... <clears throat> oh, no. Uncharted 2 um, and 1. And then we have Lost Odyssey. This is in somebody's order. We couldn't find it, and then we found it, so it's back in the system. If this is yours, you should buy it again. We'll ship it out for you. Wampum. Uh, a Journey to Silas. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. And then this Alan Wake limited edition. Um, it has no slipcover, but here is what's in it. And that's all you get for trade-ins today. So collecting retro video games wasn't really that popular until like the mid to late 2000s. So I want to know for the question of the day, not what year did you get into collecting, but I want to know how old were you? What age were you? Because obviously there were some collectors who started in like the 90s and stuff and, you know, um, are still, you know, still collecting, which is amazing. Um, but for me, I started when I was like 17 or 18 and... Um, that was in around 2008 and, you know, been doing it ever since, obviously. Um, but I know that there's people who, you know, started when they were like 11 or 12. And I think that's really, really awesome. So, uh, let me know in the comments, uh, what age were you when you got into retro gaming or retro collecting? I was 18. <clears throat> I and Cooper just moved in together. Bought me an Xbox 360. I played Skyrim for 17 hours straight. I wasn't allowed to play video games growing up, so it was when I met Cooper. So if we if we don't count, um, you know, growing up buying like collecting for one console and then selling it and then buying a new console like that, I would say 18 because um, that's when I got an income and I could actually keep my older systems and then keep collecting for those while playing the newer ones. That's the same year as Abby. My dad was more of a collector. He collected like Star Trek stuff. Um, so that was my first exposure to collecting as a concept. Um, I guess technically I would have been like, I was eight when Pokemon started being a, like a huge thing. And it just became bigger and bigger and I got caught up in the craze and you know, obviously like the cards and the figurines and all of that. But then when it stopped being a fad, I kept going. <laughs> so probably officially like seven or eight, um, if you count that as like retro gaming stuff. Um, does it count as retro gaming collecting if you started with the Super Nintendo? <laughs> I mean, if you, I don't know, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, I would say a lot of my Pokemon stuff is retro just because it's stuff that I've had since I was a child and never got rid of. Nice. That's my answer. Probably like 22-ish, because that's when I started like going to the Goodwill outlet and just getting a bunch of games like from the outlets for cheap. So that really got me like hooked on collecting. Um, but I've been playing retro games like my whole life, you know? I grew up with the Master System and just went on from there. I've never looked back. Except uh, there was a point where I almost stopped collecting. But that didn't happen, so yay. Yay! yay. Um, I didn't really start collecting before I got out of the army. So I guess back in like 2014, how long ago was that? Eight years ago? So you could I was 25. Um, when I got out of the army and I just had a bunch of extra time and money. And so I just started buying all like games from my childhood and stuff like that. Nice. Um, I've, I've mentioned it before, but I've sold my collection a few times, but it's bigger than it ever has been right now. So that's what she said. So there you have it guys. Let us know in the comments how old you were. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you again tomorrow.